Hello my dear followers. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos. While Dylan is unpacking his suitcase in a very angry manner, Baron comes to him and tries to talk. When Dylan talks loudly and Baron says, you are so angry, when Dylan continues to behave, he grabs him and asks him to look into my eyes. Yasmin and Haroon came to eat dessert, but they also try to hide. When Baron tells Dylan that he is very sorry and says he understands you, Dylan shouts why am I always the one making sacrifices? Baron also gets angry and says, do you think I like this? I work day and night to find that man, so everyone should be a little more patient. When Dylan says it can't be like this, there must be a balance, Baron gets angry and asks, what do you expect me to do? Should I fold my hands and watch my family get hurt? Then he says no one will leave this mansion until I say so. While Ghoul is thinking about her conversation with Fyret, Miss Cater comes and says that there is no peace in the mansion. While Miss Cater is talking about how bad days were, there were enemies everywhere when Ms. Aiton was killed, Baron hears what they are talking about when he comes to the kitchen to get water. Miss Cater gives Baron her water and says, I'm sorry, son, I'm just a little upset. Dylan Sevahir calls and informs him that he cannot go. When Sevahir asks the reason and Dylan dismisses it as personal reasons, Sevahir warns Dylan as if showing him a stick from under his cloak. While the people of the mansion are sitting in the living room, Baron passes into the study and at that moment Ms. Azade calls out to Baron. Then, when they talk about whether the chief of the tribe will not come to the tribe's wedding, Baron says no, Grandma, if I said no, and Mr. Kudret and Fyret support him. At that time, Chihan was angry at his friends making fun of him at school and said enough to Baron. They call Mr. Kudret and Fyret Chihan to calm them down. Yasmin and Haroon order some desserts and taste them. When Yasmin starts to give more details, they argue sweetly again with Haroon saying I don't know details, this is good, just take notes. While Baron is in his study, thinking about Dylan and Chihan's worries about the guards, Dylan comes to him. When Baron asks why did you come, Dylan says, I was curious about you, that's why I came. Baron says, I'm sitting here, you can go. Dylan says I won't go, look, whoever did this is achieving his goal, we couldn't go to the tribal wedding, we couldn't go to Perry, we are trapped in the mansion, we are giving him what he wants. Kudret advises by Chihan that we need to support your brother, we are making his job difficult by scolding like this. At that moment, Hassan catches Chihan's attention, and they laugh a little. When Baron says that you would do the same thing if you were in my place, Baron says, yes, I always want to love you more than you. Baron says that is not possible. After Dylan says that we are making life miserable just to take care of each other, he leaves the room saying you can stay and I'll leave. When Firet tells Ghoul in the garden that we will get through everything, Ghoul trips and interrupts Firet's words. And he replies, I didn't know that you would be uncomfortable with Firet being a maid. Firet says we knew we would experience these troubles, but if you do this at the first trouble, it won't happen, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. Sevahir enjoys talking to Sarah about how Dylan and Baron's relationship broke down. Then they talk about not being idle, let's put the other plan into action. While Baron is lost in thought in the garden, Uncle Ahmet comes to him and asks why he is thoughtful. Uncle Ahmet, if you bother Baron so much, both they will be upset and you will get tired. He will calm you down by telling you to relax a bit. Miss Sabiha came to see Dylan, I heard that she couldn't go to Paris, that's why I came. Dylan says, nothing is more important than Baron or us. What makes me sad is that he forgets himself in order to harm us. While Ghoul is working in the kitchen, Ms. Azade comes with a divorce petition and wants Ghoul to sign it. She says, if you don't sign it out of spite, I will make the world miserable for you and leaves. When Ms. Cater comes and says supportive words to Ghoul, Ghoul hugs her mother and cries. While Baron is in the study, Mr. Kudret, Firet and Chihan come. Mr. Kudret asks, are you okay, son, and Firet says that even if he is bad, you wouldn't say so anyway. Then Chihan apologizes to Baron, saying that he made a mistake. When Chihan and Firet tell Baron how fearless he is, Baron says I have fears too. Brother Chihan Firet is right, 
Your only fear is that we will be harmed, but Firet expresses his support and leaves the room, saying I am always with you. Miss Sabiha leaves Dylan to visit Baron. Dylan sees Ghoul sitting sadly and goes to her. Mr. Kudret tells Chihan and Baron that they had a very difficult time when the blood feud continued. Then Mr. Kudret says, you and Dylan should be given their due, thanks to you, the sun has risen again in this mansion. Meanwhile, Mr. Kudret gets a phone call and asks, the building where the tavern is located belongs to Seor's family, wasn't this the man who kidnapped Dylan? Baron, they think there are too many coincidences involved in this. Ghoul tells Dylan about her troubles with Firet. When Ghoul says that loving is hard, Dylan advises that loving is hard for everyone and don't think like that. Afterwards, they thank each other for being partners in their troubles. Dylan smiles and asks, are we now sisters, and Ghoul hugs her. Sabiha was offered tea and Hassan saw it and came to her and said, let me serve you coffee in the garden. Miss Sabiha says thank you, I am drinking tea and waiting for Baron. Hassan looks at it and then leaves to offer coffee another time. Miss Sabiha says something happened to this man, he must have gone through a midlife crisis. Firet sees the divorce petition in the kitchen and while he is examining it, Ghoul comes. Firet tears the petition into pieces and says, I won't give up on you, you will see when I don't, and leaves in anger. Miss Sabiha talks about the bad memories she had with Dylan and says that she loves Baron so much that she even put a knife to my throat. One night after he got you shot, he snuck into my house and put a knife to my throat, and he was really going to do it. But your love is so strong, I believe you will overcome this, and leaves. When Sevahir calls Sarah and asks if everything is going as planned, Sarah says exactly that, boss. Sevdet and Severi wonder about the gender of their baby and chat about it. While Dylan is sitting on his bed, Baron comes, grabs his arm, lifts him up and hugs Dylan. When you ask Baron what happened, Baron leans his memory on Dylan's memory, saying I miss you, even if I'm away for a moment, I miss you, I will make you forget all the bad memories you've had, I promise. When Yasmin says we need to do this again, Harun replies, no, no, that's enough for me. Yasmin asks how antisocial you are. When Yasmin's eye catches Harun's collar, she adjusts it and Harun likes this closeness. While the people in the mansion are chatting in the living room, Dylan and Baron come dressed and dressed. Baron makes a speech saying, I may have made you a little tired and upset because of what we have been through for a while, but we will show everyone how powerful the Karabais are. When he says that he will still be careful, Mr. Kudret says, I have full confidence in you, my son. When Chihan said, let's take a photo then, Baron Dylan whispered, we will go to Paris after the wedding, my wife will attend that seminar, I bought our tickets. Dylan was overjoyed. As Harun leaves Yasmin, Yasmin notices that he is watching her with fascination. While the Karabais are getting ready to leave the mansion, the door rings and the police come and say there is a report about you, you need to come with us to the police station. Everyone is confused about what happened. You can share your valuable opinions in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos. See you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.